proudly presented by Visual Feast Promotions. The Essex Boys. Mr. X. By H.K. Mayfield. A logical and acceptable explanation. The Essex Boys. The real motive. A personal, pathological hatred. Above, and beyond most other motives. For enthusiasts, theorists, and amateur sleuths. If you are not familiar with this murder case, there is a plethora of information surrounding, and concerning the matter to be found on YouTube. Under the title of The Retendon Murders. If you would first like to bring yourself up to speed with the various theories, and interpretations regarding the case. Before considering your verdict on the following explanations. The most important, and crucial issue in the following accounts is that no matter who. Or how many people may be involved in the murders, from the organizer to the shooter. The most significant point overlooked, and undisclosed is the actual motive that was in place to commit the crime. That motive was solely jealousy on one person's part. Pathological jealousy rooted in a massive ego, and a mega-narcissistic personality. Who was known to explode in rage if threatened or challenged. Plus, being a sadistically violent psychopath. While during a period of criminal upheaval, and vengeance-seeking intentions of various violent gangs and individuals. Who was said to be so offended by the unacceptable practices being carried out by Tucker and Tate, in the form of blatantly ripping off other criminals of their drugs while pretending to be reputable buyers. It was said that they had ripped off a dangerous Canning Town crew, of hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of travellers checks. This action alone created extremely hostile feelings and came with some serious threats. Various parties were said to be in the planning stages of enacting revenge upon Tucker and Tate. But who got to them first? And how, Tucker and Tate had started life as well-behaved, respectful, and educated children. They were from good families and were wanted and loved. It was not as if their backgrounds were of a poverty-driven matter of survival. But neither of them was aware that one day they would be so out of control in their ego, and lust for power and wealth. Plus, the insatiable need to consume a cocktail of drugs just to function that it would cost them their lives. As for their later friend, Craig Rolf. He had had an unusual and tragic start to life. He was born in prison to a mother who had been found guilty along with her lover of murdering Rolf's father as he slept. Rolf was also a long-time user of Class A drugs. He was violent and used steroids to try to bulk up. But it would never be to the stage that Tucker and Tate had used them to bulk themselves up massively. They did not fully realize that a violent or aggressive personality will be uncontrollably likely to react to the urges to act violently or aggressively if they are frequently using steroids. As an introduction, the following is a summary of the case. As we, the public have been led to believe are the facts behind the Rettenden murders. There has been much speculation, doubt, and theorizing that has taken place over the last 20 years or so. But there still appears and remains to be a case of something stinks in Hamlin Town. Proudly presented by Visual Feast Promotions. The Essex Boys. Mr. X.